But we don't know how many civilizations might there be in a galaxy like the Milky Way, for example. We don't know the answer. How many worlds support life in the Milky Way galaxy? We don't know the answer. We only know of one at the moment. Although I think most people would guess that surely there must be other places, even perhaps within our solar system, where life exists. But we don't know that at the moment. And so what ultimately we can say, I believe, is that we should behave as if we're the only civilization currently present in the Milky Way. That should be our approach to the way that we manage our civilization and our planet and the way that we plan our future, even though it might not be right, because we have no, we have no data, essentially. Ultimately, the Great Filter Hypothesis should serve as a wake-up call. It reminds us that if detectable civilizations are indeed rare, perhaps because many self-destruct before reaching advanced spacefaring stages, then we must be vigilant in safeguarding our own survival. In essence, if we are alone in the Milky Way, our failure to overcome our own challenges could extinguish the candle of consciousness in our galaxy forever.